All right, and we're here for the fifth and final game, the nightcap of the day. We got RNS taking on Edge. Cross country matchup, New Brunswick versus Calgary. Joe, you've watched both of these squads already yesterday. Mm -hmm. What's your prediction mm. on this one? Certain ball. Predictions for this game. Um, so we got two, two really strong teams here. RNS, what I've seen from them so far is they really play together as a unit. They're well coached, they play hard. And then Edge, they're more so of a skilled team. They got a couple of athletes. Um, Edge coming in at one and oh, RNS coming in at one and one. If I were to take a winner, take a pick, definitely think it's gonna be a close one, but I think, no pun intended, Edge will take the edge <laughs> in this one. Um, Strictly because of, uh, I think, the offensive weapons they have are going to overwhelm RNS. Um, but I could be wrong. Saw Faro Nation have a very strong game for RNS this morning. Put up 25 and 6. Another one of their guards, Titus Heron. Very skilled scoring guard. So if they've got guys, I'm very interested to see the contrast and play styles between these two teams. How similar are they going to be? How different are they going to be? And we're about to line it up. They there were getting go. particular about which ball to use. Looks like they figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I do think Greg Dorsey will cause a lot of problems for Edge. 6'8" big with a skilled low post game nice touch around the rim fairly athletic so we'll see edge starts off one for one with that bucket. Probably watching the last game on the mid-range. Decided to pull up on mm. his own. Yep. You mentioned the big fella for the post game. He got to work. Yep. Ring. Nice pass inside, blocked by John Ekpatokin. Was an early standout for me. Here's Rainer Glenn. A little out of control. Get it back to their point guard, Faro. Faro Nation. Yeah, that's a name. Nice attack. Draws a foul. Really good going to the left. Obviously left-handed player, but a couple times he had some like, almost like hook shot type of layups. Going to the left where he extended the arm, kissed it off the glass. Can shoot it from outside. Missed the free throw there, but. Returning player for RNS was yep. there last year. Yep. The guard duo of him and Titus Heron are a lot to contain, especially in the open court. When they get out and run, tough mm -hmm. to stop. But I really like Edge's lead guard here, Dallas Champagne Smith. Pass first. Wants to get his guy set up there. He hits his teammate for the driving kick. No good there. Rainier Glenn. Inside to Dorsey, post touch. No good there. I like the move though. Yeah, it was patient in the post. Yeah. Just couldn't get it to drop. 
And they took a bump. Hair on for three, no good. Beckering comes down with it. Nice bump, take the contact and finish. That time by Birch Parker. He's got a quick four points. And he's sitting down now on defense. Boom, there's Titus Heron. New Brunswick national team this past summer. Or provincial team, sorry. Pass by Beckering and Parker for three. No good. You mentioned Beckering in the last game came off strong. Yep. Hasn't really got many touches yet. <laughs> Relatively a smaller uh, edge team than we're used to yeah. seeing. Yeah, usually they got the uh, athletes. Some more length, side. some more size. Yeah. They got a couple guys though. One checking in right now, Patrick and uh, Amali. And then they've got Merodamo Benjamin, number 10. And then they've also got Dang Gore, who's coming off the bench. Gives them a lot of size and length. Beckering gets in, kick out, and Amali. There's Farrow. Oh, a little too ambitious on the pass there. Thought he was throwing it to Shaden Sharp or something. I feel like they've done that before. They threw mm. through a lob in the last game. Was it that? Was it RNS that threw a successful lob? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to try that, like, so casually. Yeah. Get some reps into that. RNS is a team and a program that's in a, we call it a rebuilding year. As mentioned previously, coming off of uh, prior to COVID, was their last NPA season. They uh, were 12 and 0 going into nationals. But to really look back at it and, and, and rattle off the names, they've graduated some pretty impressive uh, names: Kellentine, Sam yep. Alamutu, Mateo Zagar. Braden McVicker, Caleb Suli. Who's got next is the question. You mentioned number nine is a 2025. Yep, six, seven forward. Big time upside there. Yep. Oh. And he's got the three ball. So it seems. <laughs> now it looked good off the release. Yep. It looked like he's done it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last game he was shooting it off the dribble too. Spin really? moves in the mid range. Yeah, but what? Oh, no good. Good defensive possession that time by RNS. Rainer Glenn. No good. Benjamin that time with the swat. Beckering with the quick two. Straight to the rim. He's on the board. Yep. Oh, hard screen set in the backcourt. Nice finish there by 
John Ipatokin again. Quick. Squeezed it in. Yeah, five points. Active. It's finished there by Brown. Moving screen called on RNS. Step back three for Beckering. No good. Big board by Parker. He's got six. He went after it there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good block there, too, by Parker. I think RNS has got to settle down. I think they're playing way too fast right now. They need to get some good possessions there, some good shots. Oh, I thought he was gonna punch that. Boy, yeah, he got up high there. Trying to run a screen and roll there, didn't work out. Too much one-on-one -on -one going on. Yeah. Like a lot of guys just attacking the rim against four defenders. Both teams trying to establish flow within the game. Very different than that last game. Couple of players doing the heavy lifting on both sides. Titus Heron with six early on. John Ikpatokin with five. And then on Edge's side, Birch Polkar with six. Nice finish there. And then Cole Beckering with four. That was Titus Heron with the finish. And here he comes again, number two in blue. Ooh, wow. Beautiful dish there to John Ikpotokin. He's, he's intriguing. Yeah, this game's off to an exciting start. Gonna take a timeout break first of the game. And come right back. Seventeen thirteen. 
first quarter action. Side Anamali, no good. Dang, back up and in. Dang Gore. There's Titus. Pass there. Hey. Ben Gore. If I had to guess, I would have to guess he is of South Sudanese descent. Traditionally, have had a strong uh, South Sudanese presence in Calgary. Traveling. South Sudan uh, are becoming a bit of an international power at the FIBA ranks. Mm. They uh, even added a Canadian, Mariel Shayok, on their roster. Interesting. I mean, they're built to play basketball physically, yeah. you know. You'll find a lot of length. They're nimble on their feet. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass. Nice pass by Titus. Beckering inside, no good, gets it back, back up and Something in. tells me this game is gonna be a lot different than the last one, just in terms of a lot more offense, a little less defense. Mm, yeah. Already at 19 apiece with a minute 20 in the first quarter. in the backcourt. RNS ball. I'm sure the live stream right now is filled with fans from New Brunswick. They're usually behind RNS. Every time I check the live stream chat, let's check it out. Maybe do some shout outs. I right, got some Calgary folks in here too. <laughs> They're usually well traveled as well. A lot of support we're seeing here. Titus Aaron and one. takes back the lead up one, 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Edge looking to respond. I mean, both teams are on pace for 100 right now. Mm. Just about. Oh, three seconds in the key. Same way, turnover. Yeah. 
Titus for three. No good. And that'll do it for the first quarter. High octane game, 22-21. Be right back for the second. All right, second quarter action getting underway shortly. This quarter is anything like the last. Get ready to see some high octane offense from both sides, up and down. RNS gets it inside. Ooh, missed the big fella, was wide open. Yeah. Down low. Back up to the point guard for Edge. They get the high screen going. Goes downhill. Mm, no good. Dorsey in the post, no good that time. Good back, follow up. Yep, back up and in. Arnes pulled off a win earlier today against North Star. Yep, that was a good game too. Kick out Cole Steele, no good that time. Rebound collected by Arnes. Rainer, Farrow going middle, takes the contact, no good. Offensive rebound, mid-range is Cash. Zachary White, five-point lead for RNS. Nice lay, Isaac Brown. He had a solid first game for them yesterday. Foul. If Arnes is able to pick up another W here, it's not a bad day. Yep. Go 2-0 and on a Friday night. Not bad at all. Tomorrow they'll see Royal Crown, so they're getting all the top teams off the rip. They saw Fort Erie yesterday. First game, I mean, that was a, that was a blowout uh, win for Fort Erie, but, you know, that's cream of the crop. You know, that's yeah. why they're here. You know, yeah. they want to be tested. They want to see where they stack up. Tested early. We had Fort Erie take down uh, Lincoln Prep earlier yeah, that today. That was a good game. Polaris Prep beat LBA 96 to 70. And then a tight one in overtime, Ridley, Col Ridley College loses to CSJV 
Here to take the charge, Greg Dorsey. Dorsey back in the post, that's where he loves to get it. That's where he's most effective. Double team that time made it tough on him. <laughs> John working. Yeah. Uh, three defenders on him. Uh, he's just everywhere. I We're think he's a great piece that Damien can build around for next year yeah. as well, add some more pieces. Mm -hmm. But he's got some really, uh, really big time upside. Yep. I'm not sure how consistent that three ball is. But, I mean, he's got the size, he's got the length. He's shown the ability to shoot it. And I'm interested to see, I mean, you've seen more of him than I have, but, like, defensively what his capabilities are. I mean, he looks like a, has the tools to be a versatile defender, cover some fours, yeah. some threes, and oh, some twos. Oh, for sure. He had some crazy blocks mm -hmm. in a couple games. See how he guards on the ball, though. getting downhill, kick out, no good. Dorsey gets the roll, friendly roll. Seven point lead, RNS. Edge, looking for an edge. And Amali inside. You're just gonna kill that pun all weekend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've already maxed it edge. out. <laughs> Looks like RNS is just, you know, pounding it down low. Trying to take advantage of their size. Beckering, nice midi. <laughs> A little gamble. Nice tip there by Champagne Smith. Gets it up ahead to Beckering. Oh, foul called. That was impressive. You mentioned the shot clocking, sh shot clocking, shot blocking <laughs> yep. capability. He just needed to stay in control with his body, but. He's got good timing. That's one timing. thing. There were a couple times he was guarding the low post last game, and he was guarding hook, uh, blocking hook shots. Wow. You know? Who's, who's pulling off a hook shot in this day and age? We're talking Kareem hook shot? Oh, no, no, like you bake baby hook, you know, <laughs> one dribble, low pulse, bump, basic. Definitely no uh, sky hooks that I've seen yet. I would like to see one, though. Whoever, whoever pulls People don't want to listen to Kareem. They don't want to listen yeah, to... Uh, the old head. Whoever pulls Hakeem out the... Hakeem Olajuwon was trying to teach yeah. some, some of the younger guys in the league. They're yeah. like, not accepting it. They said his moves were good 20 years ago, not nowadays. One guy I believe that did take uh, instruction though was Giannis. Yeah, you got to work out in with him. Student of the game. Yep. Got a give and go out of bounds play. Offensive rebound controlled by Titus. As tight as can be. Ooh. <laughs> Joe Musa working overtime. <laughs> working overtime you today. Heard, you should have heard me yesterday after a player traveled. I'm like, guys, I know we're close to the border. Doesn't mean you got to travel on the court. <laughs> <laughs> For those that are listening, we are right across the street from Buffalo. Yeah, exactly. Niagara Falls. You tune into the NPA broadcast, you get a little bit of basketball, a little bit of humor, a little bit of education, a little bit of love, a little bit of laughter. Sprinkle a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's what it's all about. 
Shout out to everyone tuning in again. Whether this is your first game of the day or you've been with us for all five games today, hope you're enjoying it. And also for these players to be able to watch their games back, do a little bit of film study. Shout out to Kim Dorsey giving us some intel here. Nice. Uh, saying that of the five RNS players on the court, three of them are from Nova Scotia. Mm. One is from PEI and one from Ontario. We're watching from all over. Beautiful. Amazing representation. We're going to go into a timeout and return for the final 447 of the second quarter. We are back to the action, 33-27. We got a tight one. Last game of the day, 440 left in the half. Edge. Knocks down the triple. And pull in within three. RNS up three on edge. Got a cross country battle here. Drop off there by Titus. Three ball. Edge is starting to cook. Three ball by Beckering. They cut down the lead to two. Not as high scoring of a quarter as the first. Both teams settling down a little bit, starting to play some D. There's a hook shot by number 16 on edge. Yeah, Cole Steele. He's got some skill and some size. You asked for the hook shot, Joe, he gave it to you. It was nice, too. the passion there from Edge, building some momentum. Yeah, they're taking the lead here. Pocker, number 13 for Edge, doing his thing. He's been the X Factor so far in yep. the first half. Playing with the most passion, most intensity. Hezzy. Defensively, you do not have to reach in that situation. Yeah, especially when you're in the bonus. In the bonus, the, the offense has nowhere to go. That four defenders there. Yep. Damn. Cole Beckering's leading the way with 16 points already. That was quiet. Yeah, I, I mean, I see him hit a couple shots, but. Yeah, quiet 16. 
most quiet 16 I've ever seen. Titus Heron's got 14 for RNS. Boom, Isaac Brown for three. Nice shot. That's Edge's third consecutive three ball. Wow. And just like that. Two thirty left to go. Same story as every game. Who's gonna end the quarter off right? Gain some momentum. There's another baby hook that time. Five point lead, Damien Gay wants to call timeout and talk it over. Edge but got Uncle Mo on their side, yep. and we'll talk it over in the meantime. Yep. Two minutes, 17 seconds left to go in the first half. Edge and RNS. Edge with Uncle Mo on their side, AKA yep. Momentum, have hit three straight triples and then they're in fully out in attack mode. Steal. You want it? He doesn't got it. And Amali with the rebound. Nice lay, good footwork there by Patrick and Amali. Just carved up the defense on that one. Oh. I'd like to see the guards, point guards on RNS settle down. Mm. Yeah, they're always We're in. Playing erratic right yeah. now. You know, organize your team, get guys in position, balance the floor. Yep. Two shots for Titus. He does do a good job of drawing contact on mm -hmm. his map. Yep. Lefty. Nope. Last game of the night, Joe Musa. Yep. This has been a good it's day. All about finishing strong. Yep. It's been a good day. Saw overtime game, saw really close games, a couple of them. Saw a couple breakout games. Yep. Back at it tomorrow. Isaac Brown again. He's been a nice uh, spark plug off the bench for Edge. Tray ball. Here we go. Edge with a chance to push the double digits, oh. and they do. Ooh la la. And by Benjamin. Eleven. There is a chance that there is relationship to Boo Boo Benjamin. I've been wondering that the whole time, and I, I'd imagine there is. They both played on edge. Boo Boo Benjamin now. It's all about the Benjamins. Yeah, Tarleton now. 
He was a top player in the class of 2023. Oh, nearly got the end one. They're trying to break this open right here, right now. They smell blood right now. Yeah. Arness has got to regain their composure. Free throw number one is good. there by Farrell. Bumped, no call. Benjamin with the slam, no one there to contest. It's that third or fourth dunk for Edge in the quarter. Moving screen. Shout out to our guy Leo. Running the socials, doing a hell of a job. Yep. Make sure to follow along on NPA Canada, North Pole Hoops, Twitter, IG, YouTube, Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe on the North Pole Hoops YouTube page to get every NPA game live broadcasted all season long. Yep. That'll do it for the first half. Edge up 12. Gonna take a halftime break and come back, see what's going on in the second half. Platform designed to provide maximum exposure and growth opportunities for Canadian basketball at all levels, starting with grade five students all the way to the NBA. The foundation of the blueprint begins with our strategic partners, the Playground Global, who provide world-class basketball facility access for Canadian basketball programming nationwide. The MPH Showcase League is an introduction to our ecosystem, an exposure platform for club programs all across Canada to experience a competitive, developmental, and positive environment. All year round, this league reaches the players, coaches, parents, and the Canadian basketball community at large. This provides a great opportunity for sponsors to tap into a rapidly growing market and demographic within the high volume of foot traffic. The MPH Showcase Camp is our identification platform, focusing on finding the hidden basketball talent Canada has to offer and guiding them to that next level. As a camper, you will have the opportunity to enter the NPH National Rankings, where player profiles are created, acting as an online resume. This database is directly connected to a network of over 150 prep and post-secondary programs. By attending our camps, you will maximize on scholarship opportunities, perform in front of national scouts, and get a chance to learn from NBA experienced skill trainers. The Game Speaks Combine acts as the elite, invitational-only camp that provides every player an opportunity to measure their talent up against the best prospects in Canada. A two-day event of skill testing, pro-level drills, and NBA-style combine with the ultimate goal of securing scholarships. Top performers raise their stock and are now elevated on a national scale to strengthen their recruitment opportunities. The Canadian National Invitational Tournament in July brings a team-focused evaluation platform. Since 2015, the CNIT brings over 100 top-tier club programs from around the world to compete for the national crown. The CNIT is Canada's only NCAA certified tournament that takes place during a live period where NCAA coaches are eligible to recruit prospects in person. At this stage, North Pole Hoops has identified Canada's top basketball prospects from coast to coast, placing them at programs within the Canadian basketball ecosystem and the elite level MPH league, the National Preparatory Association. Founded in 2016, this league is at the top of our internal programming and quickly emerging as a global destination for the world's elite basketball prospects. Involving strategic prep programs nationwide, the NPA prides itself on delivering a national platform to showcase the different playing styles, characteristics, and unique talent each province has to offer. All North Pole Hoops sanctioned events include exposure services that help propel and aid players on their recruitment mission. 
From individual player mixtapes that showcase the unique characteristics of that athlete to our mentorship program, which helps families navigate within the basketball landscape and connect players to prep and post-secondary coaches. Using the intel gathered after identifying the top prospects within our ecosystem, MPH provides a bridge in the form of a scouting service for post-secondary programs looking to recruit. Since 2011, North America's top universities rely on MPH's highly experienced national and regional scouts for intel on prospects on and off the court. Outside of America, Canada is the number one producer of talent in the world, with over 20 Canadians in the NBA. MPH CEO Tarek Sabate is exploring the global market and building relationships to offer the MPH scouting service to professional basketball teams and leagues worldwide. Finally, utilizing the MPH exposure arm, comprised of digital marketing and live broadcasting, NPH acts as its own media and marketing partner for all of our entities below. With over 75,000 subscribers between Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, MPH is able to reach and influence over 15 million accounts on an annual basis, conveying the message of Canadian basketball and providing a direct platform for our strategic partners to excel in this industry. Climb the ladder to the next level by joining the North Pole Hoops family and enter the blueprint.
And we're back to second half NPA action. Final game of the night, New Brunswick's Rossay Netherwood School taking on Calgary's Edge. Right now, Edge up big, 54 to 40. And we'll get to the line. That's Beckering. Joe Edge really turned it on near the end of the first half. Mm -hmm. And they've looked like they've just kept their foot on the gas fresh out of Ever the since. second half. Yeah, I think with Edge, they naturally play a uh, more up-tempo style of play. And I think RNS tried to counter by doing the same thing. So we saw some of their guards playing a little out of control where I think they should have just stuck to their own style. They shouldn't try to match the intensity. Yeah. Because that's what Edge wants you to do. They want you to try to play at their style. They're going to get up and down with you. They've got the athletes and the length and the defense. If anything, Ooh. I would think that RNS would want to slow it down, play half court, try to, oh, wow. And then they've just been shooting lights out yeah. in addition to that. So. Wow, yeah. Tough to guard. Oh, nice in and out cross. Farrow took the bump. But that's one off. against three, though. Yeah. That's, you know, you got to settle that's down. Very early in the shot clock. Here's Dallas. No good. Again, in the pull up three in transition. Yeah, decision making's got to be a lot better. Coach Gay might need to call a timeout just to settle things down because it could get ugly if they're not careful. I mean, it's already 17 down. Like you said in a previous game, it's, it's one possession at a time. There's no 15-point yeah. shots. Yeah. Edge looking to remain undefeated. Dorsey got the size mismatch. Yeah, that's, that is more yeah. what they should be doing. Yeah, post-touch. I think he should be getting a post-touch yeah. every time. And if not him, John on the other side. Yep. Just to like slow it down, get physical. Yeah. Get to the line just like he's doing. Get to the line or if they collapse and double kick it out to yep. the shooters and then they go from there. Historically, RNS has always had a lot of shooters on the outside. Mm. I'm not sure if they have the same type of, I haven't seen anyone yet stand out. A yes. nice shot there by the big fella. But I haven't really seen any like catch and shoot guys mm -hmm. that can really spread the floor maybe they haven't emerged yet but in the past I know they've had guys a lot of guys they've had to depend on their three in the past yeah Suli Panel yep those guys lucky bounce nope I like him though yeah. number 13 at yeah. edge yeah plays hard he's been consistent with his energy look Went to attack, crashed the board there. Beckering trailer three. And an assist, nope. If that three went in, I think the edge bench would have erupted. I mean, it's 15 points. There's still a lot of time left. If they play some smart basketball, they could easily get back into this game. Yep. So it looks like they are choosing to slow it down. Like you could easily give up on this game and call it. And right now it's 17 points in the deficit, under seven to go in the third quarter. Travel. Yeah, he lifted the pivot. But that entire possession looked and felt forced. Yeah. The guys got to spread the floor a little bit more, move the ball. Just get in sync with each other right now. It's a lot of, you know, one on three, one on four action going yep. on. Nice rip and go there. Try to go for the reverse, stuck with it. Let's see where they go. Kick out. A bit of a Hail Mary there. 
steal. No good. Steel's interesting. He yeah. uh, he's hit a couple of threes, if I'm not mistaken, but he's also missed a couple uh, real bad. But he's got some size to him. He's got some length. What class is he, uh, Joe? I believe he's a 25. About looks about six 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 seven. Now showing some back to the basket game. Nice fake. Ooh. Comes up short there. Beckering. Nice. Soft touch off the glass. Beckering, you mentioned him earlier, Joe. He's already got 21. Wow. Five of eight from two point, and three of four from three. Oh. Leads down to 11. Yeah. Off the body. Birch Pokar for Edge, second leading scorer with 10 points. Four, 10 points, four boards, and five assists. So he's putting together a nice little game. Nice pass inside from Beckering to Dangor. Jack Livingstone's been a bit of a spark for RNS. Has shown a couple times the ability to get in the lane. Yep. On the other end, Titus Heron leading the way with 23. Yeah, he's been steady, keeping them alive, to be honest. The second leading scorer after that is John Ikpotokin at with nine. I think Pharaoh's got to be that guy for RNS to, to to stir things up. He's got four assists leading the team, but he's got to be the one to control. I'm saying whether it's for this game or future games, yeah. for RNS to take that next step. For sure. You got to get it to Patrick. He's got 5'10", Titus Heron on him. He drifts out to the three-point line. Bad shot, bad shot selection yeah. there. All of a sudden, it's only 11 points. Yeah. Earlier it was up to up to close to 20 there. RNS has managed to trim into the lead. Hasn't been the prettiest, but yeah, <laughs> it's sure. guys are grinding it out. <laughs> yeah, grind out game. by Arnes. You can see their offense is starting to slow down a little more. Oh, Patrick Adamali with a steal. Bone. Patrick Adamali. With a big dunk. Five seconds. 
traveling. Thirteen point two twenty-five left in the third. A lot of basketball left to be played. Back to 15. John, nice hop step in the lane. Nice finish over two defenders. They got to get stops if they want to get back into this game. It's the only way. So it's going to be a offensive three in the key and then technical given. Rare call. Damien's saying I wasn't even yelling. He's right. I would have heard him yeah, <laughs> from here if he was sure. yelling. Definitely <laughs> wouldn't hear it. Free throw is good. 14 point lead. RNS ball. Nice pass from the post. John's been a bit quiet in the second half. They're going to need him to step up and have a stronger presence on the game. I wouldn't mind seeing him with his back to the basket, giving the guard a target just to see what he can do down low. Mm. He's been struggling to operate from the perimeter. Nice shot by Titus. Man. He's been on one this game. <laughs> On one, two, and three. <laughs> He's just looking to score. Nice pass. Good action right there. Just under a minute left in the third. John, jump shot. Oh, not going to count even though it went in, but it hit the top of the backboard, so it's going to be out of bounds. We got a breakfast game tomorrow. CSJV yeah. out of Montreal versus Winnipeg's North Star. Oh, 10 a.m. We'll be here with our coffee. Double double. You're a double double guy? Uh, sometimes I'll, you know, <laughs> make it a three milk, no sugar if yeah. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Straight milk, <laughs> protein. John looking to finish and does. I mean, still a game here. Cuts it down to 12. Edge up 12 to end the third. 
One quarter left. Fourth quarter action. Who wants the W? We'll find out. Ten minutes, there can only be one winner. 12 point game, Edge leads. Dorsey inside, yup. Very dramatic, Joe. On the only it's one a, winner uh, take. It's the fourth quarter. <laughs> now they cut it to 10. It's very within distance, this game. It's not like, I just feel like this is one of those wow. games where Anyone could go on a big run. There isn't like dominance. Like Edge hasn't taken that lead and then ran with it. Yeah. Nice hands. Beckering. Yep. He's been efficient. Yeah. Just no wasted movements. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Straight to it. Like he's not an above the rim guy, yeah. but he like utilizes angles well. Yeah. Just like fundamentally sound, Skilled. takes the right shots. Got a big body, almost like a Paul Pierce type of build. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> nice, there he is. The X Factor. The X Factor. Birch. I mean, you just look at him, he just got a mean, he's always mean mugging, like yeah. he's, he wants something to prove. Excuse me, he's got something to prove. Yeah. Got to move that. It's a tough shot. Outlet pass. Oh, right, wow, perfect right placement. Mark, yeah. A little jelly action. Nice pass oh, by some the... peanut butter there for that jelly. Floor general. Oh. oh rock. There we go. 18 point lead now. They have a chance to break it open. Edge just brought the energy. Yep. Start, it started late in the first half. And they've been able to build momentum since. Oh, big block again by John. It's a token. He's got a number of blocks. There's the length and timing on display that you mentioned. Yeah. Oh. Good recovery, though. Game of runs, man. It was 10 yeah. points. Now it's 18 all of a sudden. Slows it down. RNS at the line. I think they, if RNS keeps it a slow game, 
Keeps it in the half court. They'll be able to make something happen. Down 16 right now. Tough. Wow. So we just got that confirmed that Maradoma mm -hmm. and Boo Boo are indeed brothers. Okay. Maradoma Benjamin. Seventeen point game with seven to go. Our nest needs to stop here. Three ball. That's a good defensive possession there by RNS. They strapped up. And now let's see if they can translate it to cut into this lead. And they do. Down to 15. But there is an answer. If I'm not mistaken, did he play for the provincial team? He did, yeah. The Alberta Manitoba. provincial team? Yeah, or Alberta, yep. Quick timeout by Damien Gay. He looked good um, defensively, I remember, yeah. at Nationals. Yeah. It's Anna. Anna Mali. Anna Mali. Yeah. Can't forget that name. Yeah. Take a quick break, and we'll be back for the rest of the action. Edge, 82, RNS, 60. Six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, the final game. Day two, NPA session. First session of the year. First session in over, Since 2020. Yeah, over three years. And just to give you guys a preview of what's to come tomorrow, we have CSJV, 10 a.m. game against North Star. Followed by Lincoln Prep out of Hamilton out of uh, against London Basketball Academy at noon. Royal Crown will take on this RNS team. Edge will take on Fort Erie. Strong favorite for the national uh, championship. And that's Fort Erie Black. And then North Star will end the night against Fort Erie White. Five games tomorrow. Oh, hard fall.
travel. Good call. Second time he drops a three, that's John for RNS. Like to see him a little bit more aggressive. Right now he's getting after it defensively. I mean, he's proven that he could shoot it, yep. but hasn't taken many. John Ikpotokin's got 16. Two of two from free throw line, four of five from two. And two of three, I mean, he's really missed one shot all game. But has only taken five from two and three from three. Titus Heron with 27, 27, six, one assist. And on the other end, we got Cole Beckering leading the way with 23, Dallas Champagne Smith with 10, and Birch Polkar with 12. Birch Polkar also has six rebounds and seven assists. Not a bad stat line right there. 12, six, and seven. Turnover, back to RNS with less than five to go. 15 point game. Three ball, no good there. Nothing easy, good defense there by Edge. Arnett's gotta get a good possession, time is ticking. Still early in the season, guys are figuring out their roles, how they gel with the rest of the team. John saying, let me take care of business here, but just doing too much right now. Ooh, says no to the screen, and there's a turnover. Other way, Titus has had the hot Ooh. hand. He's been cooking, he's been the bright spot for RNS. Near 30 points right now. And there's your guy, Joe Beckering. Efficient. Right on time. Efficient. Doesn't take too many shots. Yeah, but when he does, it's like he hasn't missed much at all. Yeah. Titus tries to answer. No good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised when it's all said and done. He's uh, one of the le league's leading scorers. Yep. Another one for Beckering, three ball, Ooh, yep. Man, on fire. Just solid. Twenty-nine points. Paul Pierce. Yeah. Beautiful pass there too. Lead pass for the easy bucket on the other end. Yeah, they've just blown this wide open. Too careless on the other end with possessions. 
Arnes oh. just looking to attack the rim. Work. Nice pass. Yep. Edge. And Damien's had enough. Calls a timeout. Coach Damien Gay talk it over with the guys. We got less than three minutes to go here. We got the drone in action. Nice. And we'll be back. Under three minutes to go. We have ourselves a blowout, Joe Musa. 23 points. Edge really ran away in this fourth quarter. I think they might have been up 12 going into the fourth, and then they just completely took it over. It, they cut it down to 10 at one point, RNS did, and uh, you know, you just got to value the possessions. I feel like there's so much room for improvement for RNS when they look back at the game film. Yep. To be able to say, okay, this is a good shot, this is a bad shot. This is, this is a possession where one player goes up against three or against four in the paint, where we could have looked at our other options, move the ball around, get some action off the ball, get some cutters. Yeah. There's all sorts of things to improve on. Yep. I'm sure they're going to watch the film back. Session one, we're in October. Yep. Got to trust the process. You know, the thing to keep in mind is that these teams, they play in league play, but then they, some of them play in other leagues, some of them play in other tournaments, so they're constantly getting games. And then ultimately, they're all playing for the national championship crown yep. at the end of the year. Wow, what a block. Who's the new guy? A new crop of guys on the floor now, just getting some minutes there. seeing what impressions they can make on their coaching staff for the next game. Nice Pull up. Shot. Very Isaac nice. Brown. Uh, he's been nice. Yeah. Good ball movement here from Edge. And uh, everyone's getting involved. Everyone's getting on the board here. That's 100 mark. 
Just over 102, 79. Decisions. Wow. Not letting their foot off the gas. 105, I believe that's a season high so far for any team. Well, Edge has cleared the bench, but they're still executing. Yeah. Good ball movement. Guys are hitting shots. More threes. Turnover. I don't think anyone's dribbling anything out. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to for, for put as much on the board as possible. <laughs> trying to run it up. But it looks like clock's going to wind down here. <clears throat> That'll do it for day two, folks. NPA, thank you for joining us. It was a great day of hoops. Make sure to catch us tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time with your morning coffee. We'll be here making the calls.